Vancouver is oft lauded for its natural beauty, but... Why they have these silos here? Huh? When Brazilians Octavio and Gustavo Pandolfo first came here, they were looking for something ugly to paint. They found it a concrete plant in the heart of the city, an eyesore to many. The brothers considered it a perfect canvas. The first day we see you, we say, yeah, this is the, the place. We should do something there. Yeah. So, it's too gris, 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 no? Yeah, gris. They're too gray. Yeah, gray. yeah. So what? Need some colors there. They're known as Os Gemios. In Portuguese, that means the twins. Their murals, an eclectic fusion of hip-hop graffiti, protest imagery, and folk art. Projects now world-renowned that include a giant mural in Boston, the plane that carried Brazil's World Cup team, even film festival animation and a cognac label. It's a style they developed growing up in Sao Paulo, a city they helped transform with an explosion of street art known as Pichasau, tagging in murals full of political and social expression. Because nobody ha has to tell you what to do, where to do, and how to do, you know? If you feel to express yourself, you should go and do it. But this is the brothers' biggest project ever. Over 7,000 square meters of space. They used 750 liters of roll-on paint, 1,900 cans of spray paint to cover silos over 20 meters tall. And to move the lift in this side was yeah. unbelievable. Because the difficult. factory didn't stop. You know? Yeah, we the work, with, work with the people that are working there. Yeah. The work was made possible by Vancouver Biennale, a nonprofit dedicated to transforming public space with great art. We're not just for the two percenters, as I call them, you know, the, uh, the very elite art collectors and uh, art gallery goers. Uh, we're really about making the open air museum into uh, an accessible opportunity where great art can be viewed by people wherever you live, work, play or transit. Unfortunately, what's also oversized, the budget. The artists donated their time, but someone stole $20,000 of paint. Then they realized if this isn't shellacked, it'll fade away. The original $50,000 price tag ballooned to $125,000. So the Biennale is turning to crowdfunding. Part of this and part of what the Biennale is about is putting the public back in public art. And so we really like to put the public back in it by saying, you can participate. Uh, you, know. you, can, you can help out now. Yeah. If public wows translate into donations, problem solved. It's fun. It's interesting. I need. Yeah, I mean, I think Vancouver needs some more public art like this. They're colorful, they're fun, and uh, just make you smile. Everything we learn, we learn in painting the streets. For their part, Oschemios hopes to inspire a new generation of artists to turn cities of grey into colorful playgrounds. We have some giants here now in the city. <laughs> they take care of the, the space there now. The buttons are that big? That big. Wow. Yeah. The Giants' official unveiling happens this weekend before us Jamios stash off to L.A. for their next big gig. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.